I'm joined now by Heidi Golightly, and along with being the author of Healthy Choices for a Healthy Life, Heidi is the Certified Corporate Wellness Coach, so we're going to talk wellness this morning. Heidi, thank you for being back on the show. Thank you, Jenna. Nice to be here. Okay. One of the topics that you talk about in your book, Heidi, that I, I want to touch on this morning is processed foods. What's your take on them, Heidi? Well, I could talk for a very long time on mm -hmm. processed foods, but let's see if I could sum it up. Um, basically, when you go to the store, you have options. You can go to the outer aisles and you can buy things that you have to make, mm -hmm. which is fruit, vegetables, and milk and cheese and things like that. Or you can go to the center aisles, which will give you all the food that you can eat that somebody else made. Ask me if I think the center aisles are better for you or the outside aisles. Which I'm one? I'm going to tell you the outside <laughs> aisles. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is when you make something at home for yourself, you know what you put in it. You know that if you're putting milk in it, it's going to be the kind of milk you want in it. It's not going to be, hopefully, a high fat milk or a heavy cream. Mm -hmm. If you want salt in it just to taste, a lot of recipes will tell you salt to taste. That's because you will taste it and you will see how much salt you need. Not somebody in some lab saying, well, let's put a tablespoon of salt in this and that'll really taste good because mm -hmm. salt makes everything taste good. Or the same thing with sugar. So you're in control of your own destiny when you cook it in your own kitchen. And I really truly believe that when we leave it up to somebody else, we're allowing somebody's hands, we're allowing somebody's breath, we're allowing all of those things to come into play when making our food for us. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it, but I don't tout going out to restaurants either because the same thing happens there. Mm -hmm. They're all in the business of selling food, making it taste good, and they're not really promoting health at that time, unless you go to a healthy food you know, restaurant or a health food store. Mm -hmm. So my idea is just to make sure you just watch what you put in your food. If you are going to buy processed foods, read those labels because those labels will tell you and they have to tell you. A, they have to tell you the country of origin. I would like you to buy everything from the USA because that tells me it doesn't lose as many nutrients coming into our plate as it does if it's coming from Mexico or from anywhere else in the world that we now get food from. The added ingredients like high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a cancer causing agent and it's mm -hmm. always a mystery to me why they, they, our government, allows it to be in our food when we know for a fact it is cancer causing. So we have monosodium glutamate, another one, cancer causing agent. Artificial colors. Red F D. What do they say? Red number four or blue number, mm -hmm. yellow yeah. number, right? Mm -hmm. So why? What are these things? Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever questioned like yeah. what? What are well, we? Yeah. Putting? What are they? What <laughs> are they? <laughs> and they're, le let me tell you, they're not mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And again, we're w we're wondering why so many people are coming down with cancer. Why so many little kids are coming down with diseases? Or why they're so obese? It's because the additives that we're putting in these foods, because we're brought, buying processed foods, because we don't have the quote unquote time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to say, because I was going to play devil de devil's advocate mm -hmm. for a minute and say, what about the people who say, I don't have time to worry about this? You know, I just need something fast and I need it right now. Okay, so my answer to you mm -hmm. and them is you have some time on a weekend when it's your time. Now think about it. We use our time for things that we like to do. What could give you more satisfaction and more pleasure than cooking something that is good for you, that you know is going to be healthy and n nurturing your children or your families, that you just know once you do it and put it in the refrigerator, it's there all week. Make a soup. Go to the store. Get some vegetables. Make some meals, put them in the fridge, chop up some vegetables, chop up some fruits, leave it in there. That will last you all week long. You don't have to do go to the refrigerator and get processed anything anymore mm -hmm. because you do have the time if you make that your priority. Wow, that's a very great suggestion, you know, to, to devote the weekends to doing this. And you don't have to devote so much time. My husband and I, you know, we're fortunate we do devote a lot of time to ourselves and to our food. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to devote as much time as we do. You can, 
what we do is we make our quinoa, which is like our rice. We make one of them at the beginning of the week. It's in the mm -hmm. refrigerator. We chop our vegetables. They're in the refrigerator. We make our beets, beans, and things like that. So all we have to do is grab the lettuce or the spinach. We don't use lettuce. <laughs> grab the spinach, grab mm -hmm. the chopped vegetables, put mm -hmm. on the dressing, go out the door. It's that easy. That simple. And Heidi, one thing I want to mention right now is that on your website you have a link for your blogs right. and you can give people tips daily okay. tips right Tell I don't do that. it daily yet mm -hmm. because I really am so involved in everything else that my blog I just started it about a month ago so it's every week I do it on Saturdays mm -hmm. and I'm really just trying to feel it and to see what people want if people want it more I will do it more but right now it's just on Saturdays and it is getting a very good response well, so. great. yeah well, it's so in informative yeah. Heidi and yeah. thank you you know for sharing this with us this morning please everybody check out Heidi's website healthy choices for a healthy life dot com you can read her tips and also find out more about her book and purchase your book too right while they're That's at right. it <laughs> right. all right everybody we're gonna take a quick break but Heidi thank you thank for you being so with us this morning